This is uh, Preston Mathis with Correct. GKN. Preston Mathis with GKN Aerospace. And, and what is your position with them? I'm the general manager for GKN. Um, you were telling me that you've hired 40 people so far? We've fired, we've fired approximately 40 individuals thus far. And how many you planning to hire on top of that? And what is the status of that? Are they training over here for those jobs? Or? Right, right. So we've, uh, we, we plan to be about 85 people by the end um, of this year. Okay. And then we'll be fully staffed by 2020 to 170 folks. Uh, we are doing our pre-employment training here at Gulf Coast, and they're one of our business partners. And that's going exceptionally well. Um, and what kind of training are they taking here? Are they using this center here to learn how to do jobs that they're doing at GKN? Correct, yeah. So what we're doing here is uh, they do training for basic composite layup and, and bagging. So anything we do for uh, aerospace, uh, for aerostructures on the composite side. And uh, we also uh, spend some time working with them on just basic uh, safety skills that are important and critical to our, our business. So... Um, I, I know that you have military contracts and stuff, but can you say in general what type of uh, contracts you have? Is it with the government or for you're making parts? What exactly are you doing there? Well, we're, we're really, due to our, our commitments with our customer, we don't really discuss our contracts. Uh, we do, um, and we're very happy to be part of uh, We build aerospace parts and be part of what we're doing with, um, uh, with our customer. So when did you guys open up out there? Back in, I think we actually took uh, occupancy back in uh, the uh, October timeframe of 2017. I'm, I'm going to say November 2017. And then uh, we've been uh, hiring and staffing uh, ever since then. So are they local people that you're hiring? You're bringing some people in? Yes, we have people coming in from as far away as Seattle, Washington. I've come from the Bradenton, Florida area, so I'm somewhat of a local uh, but most people are locals. Uh, we're finding from retirees, from the local Air Force bases and some of the military installations, uh, to graduates from Gulf Coast uh, State and, and some of the other local colleges. Florida State has actually put a new program in place for systems engineering. So we're expecting to have a, a very nice pipeline. So uh, if I don't... If I don't have any training in this, can I start from scratch and get a job there, or do I have to? Are you looking for people that have bachelor's degrees? Or? Well, uh, I'm going to say we're looking for all, all all grades. You know, so we have folks that come in at the very beginning if they have some um, background experience in aerospace. Maybe they were a mechanic of some sort through the military. Um, on the composite side. Uh, we do look for people that do have experiences with the composites, but we do have training programs that will take folks from the very beginning all the way through to almost, say, advanced work. When you say composites, you mean making parts? Or? Making parts. Yeah. Yep. So that's um, our business is we make uh, composite parts for aerostructures. So, like, what type of normal job that's not associated with your company – Around here, would someone be making auto parts or, or making composites? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we kind of think about the automotive industry, especially for hobbyists that have a tendency to build um, uh, kit cars, especially if they're made out of fiberglass or, in some cases, some of the composites that you even are speaking about. Uh, carpenters actually seem to do an exceptionally good well. Electricians that are highly detailed. Um, all of our folks have to be extremely uh, sensitive to safety requirements and specifications. And um, I'm going to say attention to detail. So you say you're, you're hiring uh, some military folks here or retired oh, yes. real military? Yeah, we hire quite a few military uh, uh, retired uh, folks that are maybe just coming out after four to six years. Uh, some folks are looking to make a career change, but we're finding, uh, I'm going to say, great opportunity. Uh, with our uh, with, with our with our military uh, uh, population that's here in this area, and it's one of the reasons why Bay County was one of our selections is because you have such a great opportunity and a good a good base of employment here for those type of talents. If, if I'm retired military, like, do you have to work full time? Can you work part time? Or well, right now we're we're hiring for full time predominantly. We're not hiring for full the you know, part time help. Now that may change in the future. Um, but at the moment, we are looking for full-time commitment to uh, GK and Aerospace. So in this facility here, what exactly are you going to be using in the, in the advanced training facility here? We, we've used the, AT, the, uh, the advanced training center here at Gulf Coast State as a, a place where we do uh, a lot of our training, our hands-on training. So it's not just classroom where there's instruction that's provided, but we also provide um, um, hands-on. So assembly 
build, um, and also assessment and inspection of the work that's done. So this has been helpful in your training? Exceptional. This, this. Gulf Coast State's been, I want to say, a fantastic business partner along with several others here. We've worked very closely with, uh, with the e local EDA. Um, St. Joe has been wonderful in assistance with us in Florida State. So, I mean, uh, Career Source of Florida, um, you know, we applaud them with the hard work that they've put in and bringing people to our attention and getting good, strong candidates to us. Um, what are the pay levels from, I mean, generally well, speaking? Right now on average, I believe it's um, uh, right around 63000 67000 on average for every, you know, it's not per person, but as we hire people, uh, we have that type of commitment. So it can range, you know, to um, a $10, $12 coming in cold um, without any experience to, I'm going to say, some of the higher levels um, increasing based off of experiences. Um, and and the, the EDA today called this meeting. What exactly? You're just sort of introducing the community to... The folks from GKN, or yeah, what yeah. exactly is going on here? Yeah, the, uh, this project originated. This is Becca with, uh, Harden, by the way. With the, this project originated with the Bay Economic Development Alliance through a recruitment trip to an international air show, and uh, this is a project that has been priority for us for the past three and a half years. And uh, this is our opportunity to introduce the new general manager who has already started work here. Um, and I guess he said 40 people have been hired. Eventually, how many are going to be working be up out there? To 85 this year, and then the total. Uh, within the next three years is 172. Um, how are things going out there? Did the plant open on time? or? Yeah, they took possession of the facility in November okay. uh, 2017, and since then they've been busy moving equipment in and getting the interior finished, and that's why they've started ramping and hiring because they've got to start doing some testing for the products that they're building out there. So it's all... It's all up and operating, or are they still working on the building? The building is finished, yeah. Okay. They're still moving equipment in, but uh, as they hire people, they're going to be starting work in that facility. Um, anything else you'd like to add about what's happening? Or No, that, just I mean, to... we're just excited that they're finally getting going and uh, look forward to hopefully more opportunities to help them grow in the future. Thanks, Becca.